Rory McIlroy golf. For those people that don't know, I've always loved golf games. I've always had a passion for them. When I originally got started on Machinima Sports, I played Tiger Woods. I've always enjoyed golf games. When I was growing up, man, I tell you, Gus, Gus was a guy that I believed in. Gus was the name I used to use in Golden T. Now, I want to throw a WWE twist on it, too, so we're going to name him Saxton just because of Byron Saxton. So Gus Saxton is going to take over the PGA Tour and create something so magical, something so magnificent here in Rory McElroy because Tiger Woods is gone. So the question is, do we want to take the easy route and be a prodigy? Do we want to be a collegiate champion? Do we want to be you know, just an instructor trying to earn our card? Well, I don't want the easiest way out, but I don't want to be like the loser at my local golf course who thinks he's a pro but really has only ever attended one event. So we're going to go with, uh, why don't we just be a collegiate champion? I think collegiate champions mean something. They show a tenacity. They they could go on to something bigger and better. Now, when it comes to the look of Gus Saxton, I really don't have something I'm going for. I really don't have a designated look. I'm just trying to find somebody that uh, could pull off the feel of Gus Saxton. How many people here used to play the arcade games Golden Tee? I love that. My dad fixed arcade games. I used to play them religiously. And I don't know why, but I'd always put G-U-S in the golden tee. I don't know if you put your initials. I always put Gus because I actually didn't like to put my initials. I uh, would put Gus. As uh, you can see, I don't want to make him too outrageous. I've seen some people do Rory, and they've done, uh, well, let's just say one of the cool dudes in Rory McElroy, Boogie McSandtrap over on the homie and uh, Not As Fans channel. If you want to see more Rory McElroy, PGA Tour Golf, YouTube.com forward slash Sports Gaming Universe, Not As Fans, Boogie McSandtrap already has a bunch of episodes already out. What kind of hairstyle do we want? Are we receding? Are we wavy? Well, there's not that many haircut choices. So I think we're going to go with a faux hawk. I've always kind of done a faux hawk thing. I'm pretty sure, even though my faux hawk ends up looking like crap, we're going to go with a faux hawk. I thought there'd be more customization in my guy. Now, I'm a big guy. Now, just like in my, my career, we might lose some weight later on, but we're going to start off as kind of a heavy guy. We don't want to be a giant, though. We'll just be tall. Let's just be tall. I don't want to be a giant. I do want to have some height to me. As uh, I really didn't care about eye color. Just trying to pick out a dude. I thought about going some crazy hair, man. I've seen some PGA players that look pretty insane. But uh, in the end, I decided on just black hair. It's kind of boring. I know it's not that out there. But if we're going to be the face of professional golf, we need to have that look. We need to be looking like Jordan Spieth. We need to be looking like Phil Mickelson. We need to have that look. And now if we're going to choose, I chose power. I don't know why I chose power. The upcoming web.com tour, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that good. So you take a look at our drivers. I'm sure we have tons of clubs. Oh, the God, there's only one club. Okay. So we're basically starting from the bottom, and we have to work our way up. And I'm probably going to tell you, oh, man, I'm not, I'm not oh, God. <sighs> base stats, base clubs. Please tell me this is like my career where I can level up really fast and I don't have to play like a pile of crap. Oh, no. You look at our attire. I'm going to keep it a little conservative. Now, when I was going to set this up, I wanted to go crazy, man. I wanted to have funny-looking attires, stupid-looking attires. But the more I thought about it, I want to look casual. I want to look like I'm actually meant to be here on the professional golf tour because I enjoy golfing. Now, every time I go golfing, I don't wear golf shoes. I usually wear shorts. I look like I shouldn't be even out on the course because we have a four-star course in town, which I do like golfing on. Um, the other par three in town is pretty nice. Wish I had a golf membership. I wish I had a yearly membership, but I don't have that kind of money to drop a $800 or $1,000 on a golf membership or else I'd probably be out there every day golfing them tees. Uh, so you guys can see, you can customize all four days attire, which I think is really cool. I don't know if that was a feature in the old one. Cause I haven't really played the old PGA career mode. I started to, and then I'd always stop. You know what I mean? Like, you'd start get going, and then WWE would take over. This time, man, I'm feeling really good. I've kind of been addicted to this game. Uh, from the practice rounds I've done, I'm really bad at putting. Just know when we play this, man, I am horrible. When I say horrible, I don't mean that as a joke. I mean, I am horrible. Why did I say horrible? This isn't a commercial for horrible. 
Arribo! Uh, I am just literally horrible at putting, so I have a feeling there's going to be some cringe-worthy moments here. As uh, yes, I know the colors don't necessarily match, guys. I'm not about matching. I also put it on the wrong hand. I think you're supposed to put it on the left hand if you're right-handed golfer, right? I don't know. I always just wore gloves and kind of hoped that was doing it right. That was literally my strategy when it came to uh, golfing. When I used to have, because I was used to be in junior golf camp, man. I uh, junior golf camp. Funny story. I I used to be afraid of using a driver. I still kind of am because I end up shanking it uh, or slicing it. And for the longest time, literally in these tournaments, uh, in junior tournaments, you got to go, you did the tournament, you did the uh, junior golf camp, and then instead of golfing for $20 for six, nine holes, you would golf for six if you did this junior golf camp. So I would do it every year. You'd get free Powerade cookies, and then it would have an end-of-the-year tournament. And I placed third, and I remember I was driving with a putter. I had a shitty old putter that I would use. And it was on the fourth hole. I was actually doing pretty good. I was probably like three over, but you know the kids our age weren't doing that good anyway, so I was actually doing pretty good. And I almost could have won the tournament, but on the fourth hole, because I think you only played six holes depending on your age bracket, my putter broke. Literally, as I was swinging, my cheap putter that I had just to drive with, the head went farther than the ball on the last hit. Don't ask me why I drove with a putter. I did. I got some fancy shots. Back in the day, I would uh, use the drivers on like a par three, like a five or seven wood, and then I would crank up the tee so high and hit just under the ball and flop it right on the green, man. I tend to screw up a lot of golf shots, but that's the good thing about Rory, man. I have that projected arch. I can uh, plan ahead. Is Why would I do red versus blue? What is this? Is this rooster teeth? Put a blue glove on, Tubby. Know what you're doing. Enjoy it. As some days we're going to wear a hat. Some days we're not going to wear a hat because I want to – Look pretty stylish as uh, we get ready for this, man. I'm ready. We're touring. We are going to take over the PGA Tour, and uh, I'm ready for this. I'm super excited. You can look what's in the bag. All starter clubs. It really doesn't matter. EA Sports, everything, which makes me a little scared, a little nervous. Let's take a look at our attribute bonus. I am going with power. I don't know why I'm going with power. My putting's bad. I should probably use finesse, but no. I want to be able to strike the ball. I want to be able to hit the ball farther than anybody else can and drive it. Wait, they're racing golf carts. Look at that. They are racing golf carts at the Web.com Tour Championship, and now it is creating a leaderboard. So here we go. Rory McElroy at TPC Sawgrass, one of my favorite courses to play of all time on Golden Tee. We're currently even and in fourth position. Let's get into it. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present opening round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Getting set now for first round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. This is the fourth and final stop of the Web.com Tour Finals. And Frank, this is always a pressure packed environment. It is, but also a chance to see the raw talent that will be on display for many a year. And at this tender stage, these players are powerful, talented, and often brilliant. All right, so we are currently even. We are on the fifth hole. We are only one stroke behind as we look to set up our grand tee shot to start things off. The PGA Tour of Gustin Saxton. Did I just call him Gustin? Yes. It's short for Gustin. As Gus Saxton lays a bomb right down the middle. I have to tell you, though, I've been playing some practice rounds with Jordan Spieth trying to get ready for this. And I wish I could drive it 320 like Jordan, but one day. As uh, Byron, I don't think Byron would be proud of this commentary, man. Gus lined it up. Oh, no, we put it right. Okay, you know what? That's not the kind of shots we need, man. I know your putting's bad, but you should at least be able to get it on the green. You've got to be able to control that spin, use it properly. As we line up the shot. Quiet, quiet. He's shooting for birdie. Gus Saxton hits a beautiful shot, but it goes right past the hole because Tubby didn't use his backspin. Tubby, you got to use the backspin. Gus going for it again. Straight on. Again, it didn't really use the backspin, but uh, put it right up there. So we're just to the side of the hole. You can see Gus isn't too happy. Now, one of the putts. Beautiful, we nailed the putt. I think we miss every other one. 
in the coming tournaments, but that one we made. So we are currently one over. So they put us in a prime position in fourth place, and we blew it. We bogeyed the hole. Gus lines up for his next shot. He's looking for a beauty, puts it right down the middle. He's got to get some carry. There we go. We got the spin. Come on. Chugga, 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 chugga. The spin. The spin. Come on, get 280. 280. 282. So 282, we're about 170 away from the pin. Let's see if we can put a nice layup shot there with maybe a three iron. Not a three iron. A six iron, my bad. I was going to say five. I looked at it wrong. I was expecting something else. As uh, wind's really not going to be a factor, but shanking the ball to the right is definitely going to be a factor, and it's in the drink. Tubby went drinking. Gus, he wanted to taste the, the water. He wanted to go for a swim. So this is going to basically blow our first ever PGA tournament. The chances of us winning now, man, the comeback. I don't think we can come back. I really don't. Come on, please, just, just let me come back. Make a beautiful shot here. Make it for par. Just go in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. What the hell? That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Apparently, I didn't look at my arc. As I, he wants to swing the uh, trees right now. He wants to be. Yes, okay, we definitely do not know what we are doing. But it lays up nicely anyway. Oh, okay, that's, that's a makeable putt. We are doing very horribly in our first couple holes. They probably think we're a jabroni. It's a straight on putt. We make this. It's a double bogey. Beautiful putt. He sinks the putt, but you can see the despair in his face. Obviously upset. We are already three over on the day. So not even the simulations golf this bad. In two holes, we are plus three through seven holes. Let's run the eighth tee shot. This is a par three. He's going to lay it up there with his driver. A wood putting it on. Uh, the spin, the wrong way. The spin uh, was going the wrong way. It should have been pulled straight back, but instead... It's going to go for about, what, a 40-foot putt, something like that. That's a long putt to make as uh, we're waiting for it to read it there. 28 feet. Looks like a pretty straight-on putt. I can't imagine we're going to make it, though. Yeah, we didn't line it up properly. Our putting is definitely not our strong suit. Gus Saxton needs to work on this if we want any chance of winning. But we're able to save par there. So we're still plus three on the day. After the eighth hole, we're still plus three. We're in 20th. Not the greatest, but the web.com tour. This is the one that you have to, if you win this one or qualify the top spots, you get a web.com card or PGA. Wait, I don't remember. I'm kind of confused. The wind's pushing against us, though. This is a 600-yard hole. Nine, nine is a 600-yard hole, and we didn't even cut half of it. So this is definitely going to be three shots to get it up on the green, trying to make something happen. As we're trying to line it up here, uh, three wood. Might as well go for a driver and say F it. Once again, I don't think I knew what the focus arch was and where it was really aiming or where it really should have aimed. It's going to leave us with a nice layup shot, though, as that's going to go about 240. Beautiful 240. Oh, I thought I called it right on the nose. 240 puts it up there. As Gus is uh, okay with the shot, we got to get some uh, holes back. So if we can eagle this hole, that would be great. As, uh, we don't want to put it right on the hole. We want to leave some room for spin. Finally, we get a nice, clean approach shot, and, oh, we didn't put enough spin on it. You've got to control your spin, man. It is so important in PGA golf games. You've got to be able to control that spin, and as now we're shooting from about 32 feet. Yeah, no, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That is my horrible putting. You have to, to follow the green. In golden tee, I would always nail these putts because you could control the ball with your hand, and you could push it right in. These ones, on the other hand, I'm doing horrible. But we saved it at least. We had a chance to uh, get a stroke back, to get a birdie. We still parred it. So we didn't drop a stroke. That's the, that's the easiest thing I can say here is we at least didn't drop the stroke. And that's uh, one of the better things that we can do as we look to drive on the 10th hole, man. We're crossing the uh, front nine. Beautiful drive down the middle of the wind once again in our face. But if we can get a stroke back here, we got to leave a nice layup shot. It's going to go about 280, 283. So 283 yards and leaves us about 120 to the pin here as we've got to put it up there nice. Lay it up there farther. Get it right by the hole, Tubby. You got this. You got the wind blowing right in your face. So you got to put a little extra kick in it. Just like that, straight on. We got to get the spin right. 
Get the spin right, Tubby. No, why did you not pull back? The greens are running fast. Look at how far that ball went away from the pin. Controlling your spin is so important. And Gus needs to learn that or else Gus, there's a cut. I don't think Gus knows this. Oh, you're going to end up short. You put it past the hole. No, no, no. You got to put it past the hole, buddy. Buddy. Oh, man, you got to aim it better. So, please, do not bogey this hole. Do not miss this par putt. It looks like it's straight on. If you miss this putt, we could be having some issues, but no, he makes it. So, after day one, we lock it up with a plus three. We're three over for the day, which is in a, where we want to be. We're in 22nd place, and the computer can still sim because there's still technically eight holes to go. So we take a look at our progression, but uh, we'll be back. We'll see if Gus Saxton can bring it in the web.com tour open and see if we can take it. We drop all the way to 73rd. Ouch. Let's bring it back.